Do you have frustrations with those Estes igniters? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the problem. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry, building techniques, and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We all seem to have frustrations with the Estes igniters. They're a good igniter, but they are rather delicate. Um, you can see here that I have on the table a couple of igniters, um, and you can see that on this one here, it's pretty mangled at the tip. And once they get this way, they're not very reliable. Um, and then you have the frustration of having a mislaunch. So what can we do to protect them and make them work more often than not? Um, the problem with the igniters is this tape strip right here. Um, the tape strip, um, over time, it can lose it, it, its adhesiveness, and these wires can shift around inside the tape. And so what happens then is once the wires are shifting around, the, the tips, um, they can touch here, they can deform. And what we want to do is to protect that tip. Um, and so what I've found is if you take a piece of wood and you just tack glue it in the middle of those two wires, we can solve a lot of problems. So here I just have a strip of wood. Um, this is 1 32nd inch, but if in a pinch, just go outside and look for a tiny twig or, you know, a dried piece of grass that will work just fine and it's free. Um, but since this is what I have here in the shop, um, I'm going to cut a piece and uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this into a long, thin strip like this. And it doesn't have to be uniform. Um, all you need is a long strip like this. Um, I'm going to cut off that little sliver so you can see that there. Um, and then what we're going to do, let me make sure I can get this in the camera so you can see it, is um, we're going to cut it into just a little, you know, quarter inch to three eighths inch long pieces. Just like that. And we're going to take those and just take the igniter and we're going to stick it between the two wires. And I want to get the head or, or the, the front of the piece of wood right up against the black part of the igniter. And if it's, if it's a little loose, just kind of squeeze it like that. All right, and now here's the tricky part. We're gonna take some super glue, and I've got thin super glue here, and I am going to put a drop of that super glue right there, and then I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel and just kind of try not to glue my fingers together, which I just did. If you glue them together, just kind of, just kind of walk them apart. Um, if you have the happy hands, which we sell here at Apogee Components, um, it's a little paste that you put on your fingers. Um, you're still going to stick together, but they're going to peel apart, and then you're just going to leave, you know, that little bit of residue of glue. That will come off a lot easier in about an hour. Um, so this one right here um, is pretty good. Uh, I can see on this side the wire is not exactly sticking. Um, so I'm going to try to put a little bit more glue on that side. Okay. Now, it's going to be just like that. Let me do let me do another one. This is my range box over here and you can see it's just I got a I got a jumble of igniters in there. And um, over time, the ones on the bottom get, you know, smooshed around a lot. So um, they tend to get, um, you know, that's the where you start having problems. 
Let me get a little another piece of wood here. Just like that. And try not to get too much glue on the pyrogen. Um, it shouldn't matter much if you do, um, but you know, the less coating you have on there, the better. Okay, so that one is glued as well. So now this one is dry. Uh, when you take your rocket motor and get a plug. So what we're going to do is you're just going to use it like you normally do. You'll stick it in and then you'll put your plug in and it's going to be a little bit harder to push in, but it will go in and you might hear the wood crunch and crack as it bends. But that's okay. Once it's inside, it's ready to launch. Um, so this one is ready to launch. Um, and then when they, and they're sitting in your range box, they're nice and protected. Um, it protects that head. Um, so this one, I'll go ahead and just fire it off just to prove that it does, doesn't does affect the pyrogen at all. So I'm just going to hook it up here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> I think that worked just fine. Um, yeah, and that's going to set off your motor. So that is my little trick on how to um, make these SS igniters a lot more durable. Um, so over time, when they're sitting in your range box, they don't get messed up. So if you like this tip, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button and the little notification bell. And then we'll send you these rocket videos every two weeks or so. Um, and so you'll stay informed and, you know, get uh, better at using rockets. Uh, so my name is Tim Van Milligan, and you've been watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.